everyone, my name is Gabriella and welcome to my new YouTube series. It feels very awkward for me uh, talking like this to a camera with no one in the room but um, I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. If it's very, there's a lot of sound it's because we're living next up next to a um, busy road so you just have to kind of get on with that so i wanted to start this uh, youtube channel because i got a lot of questions about how i how i style my wardrobe um how i think about my purchases how i plan my uh, my how i build up my wardrobe basically I have helped a lot of customers before doing wardrobe detox and you know uh, but I thought why not show them the heart of the house, my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, let's see where this will lead us. Um, I started, this is part of my wardrobe. Uh, there's another side here with trousers and uh, t-shirts and then I have some blazers and coats um, sneaking in in my boyfriend's wardrobe because he doesn't need that much, let's be honest. Um, he, I started to do a little bit of um, a wardrobe um, detox just after New Year's. Me as everyone else watched the Marie Kondo uh, on Netflix and got inspired and um, but it's also I I've been thinking a lot lately about uh, you know how we consume what I actually wear when you start thinking about what pieces you actually keep on putting on what colors you actually feel comfortable in uh, what shapes suits you the best uh, if you make small notes or you know, take pictures of a good outfit, then you realize, you're going to realize more and more what you don't actually use in your wardrobe and eventually you want to try to um, get rid of that. Like I said, I, I started a little bit, but um, I think my, the hardest thing for me is getting rid of the, the, how can I say, the luxury, higher luxury pieces that I have that uh, that I bought uh, and that I don't wear but still have this kind of emotional attachment to. They're not many and I will eventually get rid of them. Uh, I think when I did the wardrobe uh, cleaning just uh, before New Year's, I realized that most of the things that I actually got rid of uh, was the high street ones. And I made a promise to myself, I'm not sure, well I'm saying it on YouTube now, but I, I don't even try to enter any high street um, stores or because I decided that I only want really high quality pieces, I want uh, you know very nice cuts that you normally get when you buy luxury. Uh, so yeah I'm gonna try to not to buy any kind of high street brands this season and only buy um, uh, luxury brands and a lot of them can find on Vestia Collective for as a second hand and most of them haven't even been worn that much. So that's my uh, goal. Um, I love knitwears. Um, I love them and I wear, I feel really comfortable in a nice pair of jeans and a nice, nice knitwear. I got this one. Uh, on sale actually from Acne Studios that I love. I love the the shape of it. Uh, I love that it's a bit cropped 
uh, a little bit boxy, but it has still it's a very neutral color, uh, and it has this kind of different, different. Um, how can I say? Different knit techniques, knit patterns, and also different shades of uh, beige. I've been wearing this so much that I'm almost, you know, I have to hold my stuff each morning to not put it on. Goes well with uh, with uh, jeans, a pair of suit trousers, or even I think in summer when summer comes, like a nice pleated long skirt or a nice long dress, then you just layer this on top for like you know, that mid, mid season, uh, maybe not in the warmest summer month, but just before. Uh, so this one is definitely one of my favorites at the moment. I will not get rid of that. So, here for now. This one, is a cashmere jumper from J brand that I got this sales as well. I mean, this is what I'm trying to. I know that when it comes to these kind of basics, I mean, a cashmere jumper. Who doesn't love a cashmere jumper? This one, obviously, maybe not with this T-shirt underneath. I can't really see how it looks now, but. You can tuck it in, uh, and I love a new V-neck. I love to, you know, show your your necklaces. Uh, put a scarf on it. I have a really nice Margaret Hall scarf that I bought, um, and even you can even layer it with uh, if it's really cold, with like a polo turtleneck underneath, like a thinner one, maybe from Uniqlo or something like that. Um, I love how it's, you know, cut like that. Just a simple one. And cashmere. Oh, I cannot get enough of a cashmere jumper. What else? What else? So, this one is it I don't know when it's from Acne Studios when this one came out I absolutely loved it when I look at it like this I mean I still love it I think the shape is really nice I don't know if you notice it has a cut here and then another kind of cut on the other arm I think the color is so nice but there's something right now with the orange that when I put it on when I wear it, I just don't feel comfortable. Everyone keeps saying it's a great colour for me and all those things, but it doesn't really matter if you don't if you don't feel it. Um actually no, it's quite poor together. Um but I mean this one I, I maybe it's I'm thinking that maybe I just feel like this this season and come you know next year maybe I'll change my mind again so this is one of those things that I will still I will hold on to just because you know you never know and it's a really nice it's a cotton one the cut is great it's just that the color that I'm a bit unsure Then we have these uh, Alexander Wang knitwear V neck again. So this one I bought maybe two years ago in the sale. It's really soft. I think it's a mix. What is it? Cashmere. Well, 90% wool, 10% cashmere. It is so soft. Again, with the v-neck, I wouldn't layer it with a 
uh, V-neck. It's a bit longer. It's a bit slouchy. Uh, it's just like this kind of classic men's, well it's not menswear but it does remind me a bit about like a classic menswear jumper. The only thing with this is that it went bobby really really quickly um, which is a bit annoying for an expensive brand like that. However, I do have my little box with the, my garment care box. So I have this comb. I think I bought this one at Marks and Spencer where you can just basically comb the thing and it will remove the bubbles. Uh, so this one you kind of have to give, just put it here. Um, a bit of love and care in between. Uh, but even the bubbles, it's fine nowadays. You know, you have a lot of uh, brands that actually try to recreate this. Uh, Acne Studios have one in menswear, I know. So it's fine and it's like so classic, so soft and such a nice shape. I love this. Mm. I mean, I don't know if you can see really, but most of my things are really classic. Um, kind of earthy color, classic. Uh, blue ones. The only thing, one thing that I'm not sure about, it's this Acne Studios again. I work for the brand, so that's why I have so many of them. It's this one. This is jumper that you basically wear off shoulder. Um, I like. I don't know. I'm not sure that I am a pink, pink kind of girl. I think because I'm very small and, and you know, blonde. So I always feel when I wear a cute color that it makes me look so much younger. And I don't really like that. Uh, I mean, I don't mind looking younger, but it just doesn't. So you can wear it like that. Um, but it's just, I don't know, it's just I'm not sure it's doing anything for me. And you wear it like that, obviously without a t-shirt. Um, the only thing is that when it's, I feel like when it's cold enough that you want to, because it's very warm this jumper, when it's cold enough to wear this, I'm not sure you would go off shoulder, so it's not very practical. Um, and you can't really wear it when it's warm enough to go off shoulder because it's so uh, it's so warm. So it's one of those things that I don't know. I don't. I haven't worn it for years. I don't really know if I like the color, the shape. I don't really know how to style it. Uh, so I think this one is actually. I don't know how many chances I should give it. How long it should be in there before um, I say goodbye to So just, you know, hit me with any kind of questions you have, um, any ideas what you want to see, uh, what you want me to talk about, is it garment care, because uh, I'm very nerdy about that, um, is it uh, how much money I, I spend on you know on a monthly basis how um, where I shop how much you know any kind of question as well I'm here for to answer those that's the whole point of um, this series uh, so sun is as you can see here the sun is out so I might you know have a little bit of a walk and enjoy your day and thank you for watching bye